A New Place by J.P. Stoney. Another short article. In Exodus uh, and Joshua, we find two great parts of the work of Christ typified. The one by the Red Sea and the other by the Jordan. In one, we have Christ dying for us. And in the other, we have our dying with him. Now, what does it, the crossing of the Jordan bring us? In Exodus fifteen seventeen tells us, Thou shalt bring them in and plant them in a mountain in thy inheritance, a place that thou, Jehovah, has made thy dwelling, the sanctuary, Lord, that thy hands have prepared. In the epistle to the Colossians, the Red Sea and the Jordan uh, correlates. We are brought to God, but there is another thing, and one which we have particularly to learn, uh, even that we have died with him. Now in Colossians 2.20, we have died with Christ from the elements of the world. We have ended our history, and particularly we have a new place. His death puts us outside everything. His death for which removes uh, all between God and us. Our death with him removes all between us and God. At the Red Sea, the enemy's power was completely broken. In Jordan, I have died with him. I am free from Satan and the flesh where they both are, and I am introduced to a new scene. There is uh, now a thing, there is nothing against me. All was ended at the cross of Christ. I am clear of every single thing that ba uh, bared me from the presence, barred me from the presence uh, of God. A person says, I do not feel it. I am not asking you to feel it, but to believe it. The thief on the cross, a man who was scandaled to the Jews, an offense to society, and taken from the lowest depths of shame and misery, and put into the brightest and most blessed place in company with Christ, the day he was uh, in a new place that day. And that's where we stand as well.